Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Effects tutorial series, you will learn how to create block graphic in PowerPoint. The block graphic you will learn to create today looks like this. Isn't this beautiful? It looks as if this coat is mounted on this wooden block. Once you know how to create this wooden block, you can always create your own variations like this glass block, this acrylic block or this marble block. Let us see how to create this block diagram from scratch. But before that, first let us understand the components involved in creating this block. First, you need some block rectangle which serves as a block. Then you have these uh, design elements that serve as nails. Once we have these two created, then we can position uh, the coat right in the middle to complete the block diagram. So that is what we're going to do now. Let us go to a new slide. The first thing as I mentioned earlier, is to create the rectangular block. So I am going to use the rectangle tool from AutoShapes menu to create this particular rectangular block. The next thing is to remove the shape outline. Right click and go to format shape. Go to picture or texture fill and in texture pick the texture that you really like to use for your block. So I'm going to use oak and there the basic thing is done, the basic block is done. To make this look more attractive, what we're going to do is we are going to add a bevel. The top bevel I'm going to use is called as circle. So I'm going to click on that one and I don't really see that the accent is sufficient enough for me to make this to get the feeling of a block so I am going to increase the width and height of the top bevel so let me say 15 as the width and 15 as the height now it looks more like a block now because this needs to look as if it is coming out of the wall on which it has been mounted I am going to use shadow effect to create uh, the field. So I am going to go to one of the presets under shadow option in effects option here. And the preset I am going to use is under outer and it is called as offset diagonal bottom left. So I click on it. Once again, as you can see here, the shadow that is created is not sufficient to make a significant impact. So I am going to increase the size of the shadow. So instead of 100%, I am going to make it to 103%. Now there is a very sharp edge here, which usually comes when the intensity of light is quite a lot. Let us say you have a very soft light as a result of which the shadow is diffused. So how do you do that? You increase the blur. The default blur is 4 points. I am going to increase this to around 15 and there you can see that the shadow is uh, diffused that also gives you the feeling that there is a significant amount of distance between the block and the wall background at the back. Fine. Now that we have got the block ready, it is time to make it look more realistic by adding the nails on all the four corners. For this, I'm going to go to Auto Shapes menu. I'm going to choose this option called as Oval Tool under Basic Shapes and while holding the Shift button, I'm going to draw a circle. The next thing is to give it a fill color, I'm going to choose this one called as white background one which is more like a silvery feel so I'm gonna click on that one the next thing is to go to shape effects go to one of the simple presets here and the preset I'm going to use is called as 
preset to so i click on it and there it is the nail is available but usually then it if it has to look more like a nail there has to be a groove in the middle for this let me go to lines option in auto shapes menu and pick this basic line and when you hover over this oval tool oval shape you can see these black circles and these are the connector points so you can draw a line to connect any two opposite connector points you can increase the weight to suit your requirement i'm going to use two 1 by 4 points and the shape outline color i'm going to use is dark gray now i'm going to select both of the both the circle and the line and press control g and that groups it and i'm going to reduce the size of uh, the group and now i'm going to place this here now to make this groove look even more authentic i'm going to increase this to say 3 points and is it proper circle you can always check from this yeah it is proper circle so there it is good enough the next thing is to add a bit of shadow to make this look even more authentic so let us use the same offset diagonal bottom left shadow preset now you can see that this thing has come up now we are not going to increase the size and blur because we want it to look as if it is just tightened uh placed on one of the corners so that is what we are going to create so i have kept this here now i am going to create three more copies of this so i click on this group and press control d three times now i keep each of these uh nails in the four corners and i am not really going to work too much towards making this look like it's perfectly aligned because i want to give it a kind of a organic look if you really want to make make that look very perfect you can always select both of these um, ones that are supposed to be on the straight line and you can use uh, arrange and align options so you can use align here in the format tab here and you can align top and say select all these two as well go to align and align top and select these two align align um, left and select these two align and align right and there it is now all the uh, nails are perfectly in place now the last thing is to add your code here so i am going to use a sample text the sample text i am going to use is you can replace this sample text with your own text you can replace this sample text okay so that is sufficiently uh, a large block of text so i'm going to keep it here if it has to appear or it if it needs to uh, be obvious then you need to use a bolder font like arial black and maybe you want to increase the font size to something which is as significantly uh, big as this one like 28 and i'm going to move this slightly here so that it doesn't really you know the um, coat doesn't spill over with that widow word at the bottom uh, apparently a widow word is something that stands on its own in a single line so we are avoiding that by increasing the text box size this looks good enough a variation to this is to make this into white and usually white is not so apparent on a lighter background so what you do normally is to add a shadow so that looks much better so this is how you create the block diagram in powerpoint now to make different types of effects you can always go here and you can change the fill to say a light gray here to give it the acrylic feel you can always go to 3d format and the material that you can use is something like clear or this one so this can be black so you can actually see and you can remove the shadow 
Now this one looks more like a glass. If you really are not still convinced, you can increase the transparency to make it look like glass. And then if you add a texture, say that of this one, it looks like a marble plaque. So there are different ways in which you can work with your plaque diagram. Usually plaque diagrams are used to show quotes or somebody who is uh, or, or a rule you want to display in a presentation and things like that. Let us see some example templates taken from our PowerPoint CEO pack where we have shown different ways in which you can write a quote um, on a PowerPoint slide. This one is about vision and mission statement. As you can see here, it looks like uh, a scroll on which the text is written here. This is another place where you can write your text. Here we have written mission statement and this is kept on top of a three, um, 3D stool and we give a label to each of the legs. The next one is about just a coat with two um, inverted commas. Another one is this one where you have the coat on one side and a picture on the right hand side. Maybe you can replace this bulb with the picture of uh, the person who mentioned or who said the coat. So those are some of the ways in which you can portray or, or you can showcase a coat or a rule in PowerPoint. If you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such elaborate graphics for yourself, you can always take a look at our off-the-shelf solutions like our PowerPoint CEO Packs Volume 1 and 2. The two CEO Packs have more than 1,600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters like you. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating plaque diagram in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials, if you want to read more articles like the one um, that explains what we have done in a step-by-step -step fashion or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you have just seen, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.